I guess we can also, like, look in the trash and stuff, but I think we're good on that. Um, we still got some energy left. We just really need to eat. So let's uh, eat the hot dog and eat the chips. And we're ready for our, for our third shift of the day. What time is it? It is now 5.33 p.m. on Sunday. So this is technically our second shift of Sunday, I guess. No, we did the early morning shift. We did the midday shift. Now we're doing the rush hour shift. Let's see if we can get some serious customers. Five and a half seconds to spare. That's how you do it right there. All right, we uh, switch it over because people are now on and wondering what the next stop is going to be. And then as soon as we're ready to go, we go. Boom. Off to the races. This train is so frickin' slow. I'm giving her all she's got! Oh my god, only one second to spare there. Because I was pushing the wrong button to open the doors. Alright. New stop. Ready to go. Oh no, I accelerated really slow. I was... I opened the doors by accident. I fat fingered the, the open door button. Except I'm not actually using those buttons. I'm using buttons that you can't see. Uh oh. Going a little fast. Slow it down a bit. There we go. Don't want to get a speeding ticket. Damn boss is on my ass. I'm running the damn... The damn thug train out here. Ah, we were late on that one. I did open the doors, right? It says doors open. Why is nothing happening? I'm so confused. Oh, we're not there. Oh my god, I was like an inch away. Come on, these people are so fucking picky. Just get on the fucking train. Do you want to get to work or not? Or get home from work? Or not? Why was there more people going home? Or going wherever midday this doesn't seem too bad of a driving job though you know no traffic you don't really have to steer just get her up to speed slow her back down we were late on this one too last stop everybody off Oh my god, I'm not there again. Oh, I went past it this time. God damn it. It's a fine line between the stop zone and not zone. Probably about a foot, I guess. Makes sense. End of the line, boys. This is where we end it all. No, no, this isn't cooking simulator. We don't quit every time. Uh-oh, we're going a little fast. Little, little bit of a need for speed. There's, we're not even being timed at this point. But now I decide to go fast. Who's giving us food every shift? Is that just like part of the contract? Ooh, we did not make as good a money at that time. $34 plus some bonuses. Only apparently four route setting bonuses this time. Not sure why. Maybe because I didn't switch it for the last little stretch there, even though that's the end. Could be. $59. I guess we'll take it. So we could have made probably like 150 bucks or so in a day. Maybe a little less. We can make like at least 100 bucks in the day, which isn't too bad. We do need to feed ourselves, obviously. Keep ourselves hydrated. But you know what? I think we can actually move out of the slums, move out of the ghetto. It's not even the ghetto, that's just an abandoned house, that's just homeless life. Let's get ourselves an apartment. Not the greatest apartment, but $200 every five days, we could definitely afford it. I mean, we could probably even afford $600 every five days, but let's just have a little bit of extra money to spare, just in case we want or need to buy some other things. Travel agency? Where can we travel? Anyway, Garden Park. Oh, we can check out some, some images. 
Not the greatest. Not the worst. Better than where we came from. If living in a below average dwelling with mold issues and relentless noise from the city is important to you, then look no further. This furnished studio apartment features a dirty sofa, bed, microwave, and a bar fridge right next to the sleeping quarters. Oh boy. You have your friends over and they can sit on your bed. It's great. Insufficient funds. I have to have $200 up front. Oh my god. I gotta go sleep in the fucking basement because I crashed the train earlier. All right, we got chips. Let's uh, let's do another hot dog. You know what? I'm hungry. We're doing two. Thank you. Two hot dogs and a bag of chips, and I guess maybe we'll go get something to wash it down with. Never mind. We just drink from the water fountain, save money. How do we help our sanity? I assume sleeping probably helps our sanity, and you know what? Sleeping in an actual bed probably helps our sanity even more. So despite wanting or not wanting to, we're gonna go work the night shift. I'm, I'm as scared as you are, to be honest. Um, parking brake off. Let's get her going. Six seconds to spare. That's a world record first stop right there. What happens if I just leave? Like, you know what? You're on your own. 4.9 seconds on the second stop. Look who's becoming a professional. Got the... We got the... The thingy right and everything. The information box? Is that what... I forget what it's called. The thing that lights up on the front and sides of buses and transportation that says where it's going. Oh god, go! Oh no, I delayed. The acceleration when this thing's full I feel like is slower than when it's empty. Which is cool, if so. We're just gonna have to go for a late break in order to make this stop. Break late. Break hard. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Let off a little. I broke a little too early. Three, two, one. No, I went too far. Oh, I accidentally closed it. I thought I would be on time for everything. Turns out, I'm not punctual at all. True, true story. We got over a hundred people again, though. Bringing all the drunk people home, I guess. Uh oh. Can I be like on my phone while I'm here? <laughs> It's one in the morning. Almost. Oh, forgot to set the next destination. A little late on it, but we're there nonetheless. A little bit of speeding, but we're okay nonetheless. I wonder what the speed limit is for the faster trains. Or is the speed limit still 40? It just accelerates faster. Hmm. Dang, I swear you gotta speed for like the like last couple of stops. Or you don't make it. Still a hundred strong going to the final destination. I think it does get slower when there's more people on it. We should we should test that, but I'm kinda too lazy too right now. I just I'm just trying to get off the street. Woo! We made it to the last stop with time to spare. That's that's something. Definitely getting a little sleepy. But this extra shift is gonna be worth it. We won't have to do this every day, hopefully. But it's definitely worth it. Oh, that time I literally got paid in food. Either that or drunk people are generous. Man, we're gonna have to put in a lot of work in order to get a promotion. Oh, but we did it. 2.30 in the morning, but we can afford an apartment. Property rented. So where is it? Where is our nice new apartment? Is it this one? Nope, it's not even this one. It's gonna be a little bit more sketchy than that. There it is! Ah, uh, looking good. Do we take the fire escape up? Can I take the fire escape up? Oh, I can. Which which unit was I again? Does, does anyone remember? I rented 4A. Of course I rented the one at the top of the damn building. What else is new? 3A, 
One day we'll have an elevator, and it'll be, it'll be magical when we do. 4A, right? Oh, we're not at the top. There's a 5A. Ooh, penthouse sweet. Anybody home? Didn't even knock, just tried to jimmy the door open. The person inside is freaking out right now. This is like Nicky Nicky Nine Doors to a whole new level. Or Ding Dong Dash, or what? I don't even know. Ding Dong Ditch? What do you call it? Maybe I'm just going insane. <gasps> I've always wanted to be an artist. Now's my chance. And I could grow plants, too. Marijuana variety, of course. Got a screwdriver. We got a futon. At least it folds up and we can have friends, you know, actually sleep somewhere. That's probably good. Microwave. Nice. Old box of pizza. Too bad it's not a new box of pizza. But, uh, not bad. Not a bad little place. And I believe we got a washroom. So that's good. Oh. We just peed. Just gonna wash my hands real quick, maybe. Or are we drinking right now? Oh no, we're cleaning. Very, very slowly. We're becoming not smelly. Maybe we just shower? Is that a thing? Not safe for you two. Please look away. Alright, hygiene is pretty well full. We're not very sane, but you know what? Let's order a pizza to celebrate. I think we need to celebrate moving into this beautiful place. Order ourselves a pizza. I'm not sure. Are they gonna knock or? Well, in the meantime, let's, oh geez. They just slid, <laughs> they just slid it under the door, I swear. <laughs> well. Anyway, they got to get it to you. It's fine with me. That's a $10 pizza right there. Better be good. Oh, we get four servings of it. Well, that's not too bad. Let's have a couple servings. You know what? We're going to eat the whole damn pizza. We're going to eat some chips too. Pig out. We're having a party. We're celebrating our victory. And... Oh, we just had a beer. And now everything is blurry and out of focus until we get really close to it. Um, how do we drink at home? Can we use this for drink or is that hygiene? That's hygiene. I, mean, I don't think I'm quite rich enough to be paying for drinks. But in situations like this when my energy is really low and I'm really thirsty, it's probably a good idea to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a safety net. Plus, this is kind of the first thing you want to do when you get a brand new place. Oh, do I actually have to walk that far? I'm so tired. It's so far. Oh, we got a lady of the night walking towards us. Play it cool. Play it cool. Play it real cool. We're freshly showered, ready to chat. Veronica Bentley. Look, I really don't have time to chat. Chat. When you look as good as I do, you get everything you want and more. It's kind of like life with a cherry on top. Alcohol? Ugh, where's a bottle of vodka when I need one? Can someone just bring me a box of sushi? I've had a long day. I can't afford to live at gaudy residence, then I'm probably not interested in you. Oh boy, that's... Um, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're gonna have to make our way. How do we get rich being a metro driver? I don't know, but we're gonna have to figure it out. I'm in love. So we're gonna get uh, a frozen entree, oriental chicken, and a pasta. Why not? Bottled water. That's it? Glow sticks. What the? Why do we want bottled water? All right, I guess we'll get a couple of waters. You have like a whole fridge of pop right there. Why can't I get a pop? It's fine. We're finally ready after the longest day in the history of Metro. Hustle. We're going to go home. I was going to get a pop, but you know what? I don't even care. Well, can we enter this way? 
Nope, we have to actually use the stairs. Fun fact. Just a couple of sips from my fountain before we go. It's the climb. Miley Cyrus was preparing me for this moment. And I feel like I'm ready for the challenge. No energy left. The world's got me down. But I'm gonna climb to success, to sleep. Oh, sleep sounds so nice. All right. Hopefully I don't wet my bed because I just drank a bunch. And, uh, good night. Good night, you two. Have a good sleep. Okay, take it easy. <laughs>